This is a demonstration of a water ozonating system. We call it the Z0.5 because it stands for a half a gallon. Um, this happens to be a convenient caddy and just to show you that everything can be in one little bundle like that. We happen to be using a uh, NLE KNT uh, uh, 24. Uh, the 1000 works fine as well. Any generator, any generator that put out, puts out one gram per hour will work. Let's take the, the container out of the system here so you can see it better. And we'll put that here. We'll reconnect our ozone source. The unique thing about this system is it's all glass, including starting with the inside of the glass diffuser, Teflon tubing. Teflon and glass are the only materials impervious to ozone. A Teflon lid is connected by a metal clamp, but that does not touch the water or the ozone at all. It does have a small silicone plug here through which we pour our non-ozonated water. So let's put the water in for now. We're going to be testing with a Kometrix SAM system that goes 0 to 5 parts per million. Now since we expect to have greater than 5 parts per million, uh, we're going to have to dilute it uh, 4 to 1. But for now, let's just put our water in the uh, system here. Let's put in a full half gallon. There you go. Now this is chilled water, and chilled water is very important to get maximum concentrations. At room temperature, that is 70 degrees, you really can't exceed three parts per million ozone. That's just the maximum due to the temperature uh, effect of dissolving ozone in the system. So we put our silicone plug in there, set this aside here, and we get our catch vessel here. And let's go ahead and turn on both the ozone generator, oxygen, and again we like to flow at 130 second liter per minute. At one liter, 130 second liter per minute, you get a tremendous amount of use out of the uh, ozone, and it also is the highest concentration for this system. So using more oxygen is not going to give you higher, but it'll actually give you a lower concentration of ozone in the water. So it's very efficient. Um, it produces highly ozonated water at 132nd liter per minute. So now let's do a timer. Let's set, set this for five minutes. Start. So we're starting at zero. And uh, let's let that run for five minutes. And then while we're doing that, let's talk about the system a little bit more. I got to turn on the. Oh ozonator as well. Let's plug it in. So really not five minutes. Already started here in a second. There we go. So let's restart our clock here. Stop. Reset. So we're back to zero. And start. You can see the uh, bubbles in there. That's 132nd liter per minute flow. That's more than adequate. Verify that it's 130 seconds, so we're doing good. So again, we're using the NLE KNT24. Um, you can use the NLE 1000. Both of them are very similar. This is a little less output than the 1000, but you'll see this is more than adequate for whatever your needs might be. All glass, uh, except for the uh, and the glass diffuser, except for Teflon tubing, Teflon lid. The only thing that contacts the ozone and water is this little bit of the silicone uh, plug. Everything else is Teflon or glass. Uh, we also make Teflon tubing from the uh, unit itself, Teflon uh, connectors, and also Teflon, we have replaceable Teflon tubing for inside the unit. We're now pressing uh, one minute. We're gonna let it go to uh, about four minutes, and then we'll uh, uh, come back and then uh, go over anything else. Meanwhile, let's look at the SAM system. So we have a test file, let's turn it on. You turn on the unit, let it go on, and then the test file is a, a zero unit. So we press the button here and it comes up with a, a zero. So you see, 
There's your test a reading of zero, so you zero out your unit. And we take the test file out. Put it away, and we're done with it. And then we'll have our sampling, our testing vial here. We'll use that in a couple seconds. And this is the uh, dye solution, or uh, addict, their dye solution. We'll take five drops of this. And since we have to dilute it, we'll put in three fourth distilled water, five drops, and then one fourth of the ozonated water to uh, do a, a proper test of the concentration of the water coming out of the unit. We're now at two minutes. Uh, let's demonstrate how it dispenses. We're not going to use this to dispense water. We're simply going to demonstrate. So you can actually dispense from this two ways. You can take the plug out and pour it out if you need to rapidly, or you can turn this ozone up four clicks, one, two, three, four, put your finger over the destructor and it'll fill your cup, frankly adequate for whatever you're gonna need. So if you can dispense it that way or you can take the cork out and just pour it into, a dis uh, into another vial. So right now we're gonna turn it back to uh, 130 second. We're now at three minutes of ozonation. At about four and a half minutes, what we'll do is we'll, we'll uh, pour our uh, three-fourths distilled, cold distilled water in here for our test, and then we'll add our five drops, and then, um, and then we'll uh, go ahead and add our, um, our water. And technically, I should be adding the five drops to that now. Let's add the five drops now. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. We're now at three and a half minutes. And let's just check the temperature of the water. So it says it's 43.3 degrees Fahrenheit. We're now at four minutes. Another 30 seconds, we'll uh, go ahead and load our uh, distilled water in the uh, vial there up to uh, three quarters full. So we already have five drops of our indicator dye here. We're approaching uh, four minutes, 30 seconds. Let's go ahead and load this up to three quarters with chilled distilled water. Again, chilled is very, very important. That's three-fourths. Okay. And the button. Now let's go ahead and dispense the remainder. That's good. Okay, so now we're right at the button there. Let's turn our ozone off. We don't need that anymore. We're going to let that set for a few seconds. Then we take our a test vacuum vial. You slip it in there and you snap off the tip and it sucks up the uh, ozonated water and solution. So you see the color there. That wants to condense because it's chilled. So let's dry that off before we set it in our unit. They recommend waiting a minute, so let's just wait a uh, half a minute and see how long it takes, uh, or see what it reads in, and then we'll let it read it a minute. So right now we're at 15 seconds, another 10 seconds here, and and let's take a reading now. So remember, this is one fourth because we have to, so we have to multiply it times uh, uh, four. So at one fourth, we're at two point four six. Can you see that? Okay, right there. All right, and then add a minute. We'll press the test button again and see what it says. See if there's much difference. Five more seconds.
So we're pretty consistent. It's now 2.45. You see that okay? So 2.45, after just five minutes, let's let it continue. I meant to let it continue. So let's go back on. So let's just make note, at five minutes, we have 2.45 times four. Um, 2.54 times four. Let's see here if we can do this here. Calculator. Two point four five times four equals so after just five minutes we're at nine point eight parts per million. Five minutes nine point eight parts per million. Let's go back to our clock. We're now at seven minutes thirty-nine seconds. Let's get ready for the next test. So we'll dump this out. We'll make note that our temperature was 44 and 2.45 on the first one. That's five minutes. Now we're gonna do 10 minutes. So let's go ahead and put our five drops in here. Make sure it's empty. Five drops. One, two, three, four, five. And we're now pushing uh, eight and a half minutes, so we got another minute and a half to go. Just for the fun of it, let's check our reading on temperature now. So we're now at 45.4. Okay. Remove this. And recalibrate. So we we'll recalibrate it back to zero. Okay. Remove the calibration tube. Get the next test file out. We're at nine and a half minutes. Let's go ahead and put our three fourths distilled water in there. Okay, just for the fun of it, let's take a reading on that water. So that's 55, so you can see the difference, just to change it to the vial to, uh, to, uh, to our, from the, from the uh, distilled water, so it's 55 degrees. Now we got, we've got three fourths of distilled, we've got five drops of indicator, now let's go and put in the remaining one quarter with distilled water or with the ozonated water. And we have, uh, that's pretty close, we'll just do a couple of drops of water. It's good. Now we can turn it off. And let's get our vial. You see a little more color to it, because it's a little more concentrated. Let's find out how much. Remember, this is 10 minutes now, or actually 11 minutes, but 10 minutes. Get in there. We'll wait our 30 seconds, so we got another 15 seconds. Just for the fun of it, let's do another reading on the temperature. Okay. 
Uh, 53.6. Let's take a reading. So after 10 minutes, we're now at 4.13. Can you see that okay? Let's see, there you go, 4.13. 4.13 is only one quarter. We have to multiply that times four. So 4.13. is 16.52 16.52 after 10 minutes only 10 minutes with what, 55 degree 50 degree water pretty remarkable concentration modestly cool water you know even with uh, colder water we can get a higher even a higher yet concentration ozone so again this is a Z 0 0.5 system meaning half a gallon of water in an all glass and Teflon system off of anybody's generic generator that'll put out one gram per hour.